everyone, welcome back to Minecraft. Today we're playing one of my all-time favorite building mods, Conquest Reforged. And everybody in the comments said, no. <laughs> Every time I post one of these videos, a bunch of you guys comment, oh man, I wish this was the trailer series. That one's so much better. And I really appreciate that you like it. But uh, I really like playing this mod. Uh, I love playing this mod. It's, it's different. It's a different sort of challenge for me. Uh, and it gives me ideas between videos. In the last one, we worked on this prototype for the big project, which is the lumber mill. I've been talking about it for ages. We're gonna be working on that today. We're gonna be making a start finally. Um, but we came up with this prototype where we cut down the trees. Um, they run through this machine here. They go along a conveyor belt uh, and then they get processed. So we're gonna be doing, uh, making a start on that today. Don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna try our best and, and see how much we can get done. Um, between episodes, I've been doing a little bit of work. I extended this road all the way out here, and now we have a bridge that connects to the rest of the world, whatever's out there. But it's got some holes in it, and um, I found these. This is one of my new favorite blocks, these kind of like boards. We're going to patch up the holes with them. Um, and these are actually pretty crazy. You can sort of stack them like rails, like minecart rails, which is so cool. There we go. Much better, much better. We're not going to fall through the bridge now. Another thing that I got done between episodes was come over here to this tent, this main sort of marquee, and get a few decorations added. So we've got some playing cards, um, some drinks, we've got a pot of stew. Um, this is supposed to be a turkey. There's no turkey in this mod, but uh, there it is. <laughs> got some uh, fresh game from hunting, some some muskets, some tools, and some uh, sort of somewhere to write to plan the next bank robbery. So. This is coming along nicely. The, the campsite's a little bit messy. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to tie it all together, but we're getting there one card at a time. So this sawmill has been something that I've been really excited to build for a long time now, but I wasn't able to start it straight away. And that was for two reasons. The first reason was because I didn't know how to use the create mod very well and I wanted to take some time to learn it. The second issue was that I needed to do a bunch of research on how sawmills worked and operated. I had no idea and I wanted to create something that was realistic and true to life. And that created even more problems because then I was trying to do something that wasn't even technically possible in Minecraft. So the lumber processing pipeline back then and even now today kind of has about three main stages. The first one is the felling of the trees. You gotta cut them down somewhere, right? You then have to get the fallen trees from that site to the sawmill. That's a whole process in itself, whether it's by a river, whether it's a log flume or a train system. And then the third step in that pipeline is processing the logs at the sawmill, which is what we're building here. Now, ideally you want step one and step three of that process to be as close in proximity together as possible. Transporting an item from one place to another takes a lot of time and resources. And unfortunately in Minecraft, there are no such thing as currents or downstream. You can, like if I throw logs in the water, they don't go anywhere, they just stand there. And building a whole rail network just to deliver some logs just is a bit excessive for what we're trying to do here. So here's what I came up with. As you guys know, I'm a kind of more of a form over function guy. I like things to look good and how they work usually comes secondary to me. So these yellow plots that I'm standing in, here is where we're gonna grow the trees. The minecart wood cutting machine contraption thing that we made in the last episode, that's gonna be doing a lap around here. It's a little bit more sophisticated than that. But that's how it's going to go. Then it interfaces right here and offloads all the logs. Now the logs are on conveyor belts. That's me trying to pretend that the bread is a log <laughs> on a conveyor belt. So we're going to have a processing line for oak and then a process processing line for birch and then another processing line for spruce and so on for all the different wood types coming through the factory. So this outside here, this is going to be the outside uh, sort of felling area. And then inside, once we go past this intersection point here, this is all going to be undercover. Alright guys, I failed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've resorted to using redstone. I told myself that I wasn't going to do it. That it was all going to be using the, the furnace minecart, but I just had to do it. It's so much easier. So we're, we're losing realism points by the second. I rebuilt the minecart wood chopping thing 
and it's a little bit sketchy, but let's give it a push. It, it's going backwards, which is very unideal. <laughs> okay, I need to work that out, but it should make its way all the way around, and then I'll have to rebuild it, but that's okay. Um, this is the stopping point where it should come to. Please work. All right, this should all work now. I've, uh, hopefully I've built it the right way. Um, here are all the plots, the tree chopping plots. So I, in theory, we're gonna be putting down a whole bunch of trees along here, along each of these rows. So we'll have an oak section here. So I've labeled it oak trees. The next one along, birch for birch trees. Next one along, acacia trees. Next one along, spruce. And if we want to expand it, we can, we can add some more plots back that way. Um, but yeah, this should all work now. I'm really happy with this design. So the way it works is that if I want to harvest oak trees, I turn it on. And so now when this runs, it's going to turn on this rail, cut down the oak trees, uh, and then when it does its loop around, it's going to come back, continue on. And if I want birch trees, then I turn it on. It already is. If I turn it off, um, then it'll just bypass this whole plot here. Go straight to the next one. Same thing here. I can by bypass it again. And so I can choose which trees I want to cut down and which ones I want to leave. All right, so now that we've got the whole growing and harvesting part of the sawmill done, it's time to get into the processing part, which is going to connect right here. It's going to loop around here and then go into the whole big sawmill facility here, which we're going to build right now. But first, let's give this a little test to make sure it actually works. So we're going to turn on oak trees. I think everything else is turned off. Give it a press and it's going to go through. Cut down the tree. Good. It worked. And it loops it back around. Okay, so we've got one log left over, so we got to do a little bit of cleanup stuff. It's so much faster than I thought it would be, which is, is good because it means it's not going to break down anywhere, but man, that's fast. All right, I'm burning through wood like there's no tomorrow. Look at the foundation. This is just the floor, the floor plan for this place. It's huge. Okay, so before we continue on with the building, I just wanted to run through the palette really quickly. So we're gonna go for like a whitewashed uh, plank. So this is what we have. It has a weathered variant as well, which is really cool. Um, but it doesn't offer really like enough weathering in my opinion. It's, it's something, but I, it'd be nice if there was a bit more. So I've kind of added in this, I think it's called ash wood plank. Um, and it looks like it's kind of completely worn off the paint there. So I'm going to be kind of be using a mix of that and then maybe a little bit of strip birch in there as well. Um, we'll see how that looks. Maybe not. Alright everybody, gather around because your boy is about to stand trial for his crimes of creating and presenting possibly the most unfinished build you'll ever see in your entire life. The first charge being no interiors. Very disappointing, but forgivable. The second crime being that this man has not built the back. Probably no jail time, but definitely a home detention. I mean, there's barely even a side to this thing, but the judge will let him off for good behavior. But the final nail in the coffin, a heinous crime, most unforgivable. No roof. <laughs> Come on guys, what's he doing? These, these slabs here, you gotta place three of them for each one. I was just like, yeah, it's too much. <laughs> And I just gave up, but we got most of the roof on. I'll, I'll get to this eventually, okay? Please, please forgive me. Obviously, I'm gonna come back and finish this eventually. I'm no cheapskate, I'll get it done. But I, I've run out of time for this episode and I need to kind of finesse, I need to finish the design a little bit more. There's a few things that I've got to figure out before I keep going. So I'm gonna do that between episodes, but for now, let's quickly get this uh, little intersection point up. So. This is where the wood chopper, that's the new name for it, is going to come in and it's going to offload all the supplies, all the logs that we chopped down into the processing facility, the sawmill, right here. So, I think if we put down another one of these shafts, we should be able to connect the conveyor belt all the way to here. Look at that. I think there's like 20 something blocks. That's huge. So that's going to run all the way in here. I still have to figure out how to power it because at the moment all I have is my windmill over there, but I don't really want to run shafts all the way to the facility. So I might have to build a second windmill or something else. I'll, I'll figure that one out as well. All right, I've changed my mind. I've added a little water wheel here just to get the thing turning, just to get it running. 
so we can actually see this whole thing working. Otherwise, I feel like I would have scammed you. So I got to show you something. So here we go. We're turning on the oak trees. Everything else is off. Everything is primed and ready to go. We are cutting. It's going. It's away. I'm going to step back before it gets too loud. We're cutting down the trees and there they all go. Man, that is crazy. Here it goes. It's coming around. It's getting to the offload point and it went straight past it. That is so incredibly disappointing. What, what went wrong? Okay, I don't know if the speed that it's going has anything to do with it, but I'm going to slow it down a little bit and just get rid of some of these powered rails. In fact, let's just get rid of all of them and see if that changes anything. So here it comes and it's really awkwardly offloading and then it's Okay, so it's definitely not working. I need to figure out why that is. Oh, well, at least the conveyor belt's working. It's It could probably go a little bit faster, but I mean, that's at least one tick. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Unfortunately, I do have to cut this one short. As I said, I run out of time, and if I don't post it now, then I never will, or it'll take like another couple weeks. So thanks for watching. Peace.